Hi, this is Jason and Joe again from DJ Products, and today we're going to show you some basic operation on a waste caddy. Uh, the first thing is the key switch. When you turn the key uh, to the right, you're going to hear the, a clicking sound, which is the unit powering up. And when that happens, the analog voltmeter needle is going to go from the red up into the white. The next thing we're going to talk about is the forward and reverse handlebar. Um, it's a standard twist grip handlebar system where when you turn the handlebars forward, uh, the farther you turn them, the faster the unit will go. So if you turn them forward, the unit will go forward, and if you turn them in reverse, the unit will go in reverse. The next feature we're going to talk about is the e-stop switch. Uh, how the e-stop switch works is when you push the switch in, uh, the unit will only travel slowly forward and will not travel in reverse. To get the unit back into normal operation, what you do is you turn the e-stop to the right, uh, it'll actually pop out, and then you'll be able to operate the unit normally in forward and reverse. The waste caddy is equipped with a slow speed potentiometer. Basically what the sp speed potentiometer does is it sets the maximum speed of the unit. So when you have the dial set to 3, that is maximum speed, which is about 3 miles an hour, and the farther you turn it counterclockwise, it slows the maximum speed of the unit down. Next we're going to talk about the chargers that are on the back of the waste caddy. Uh, all the waste caddies come with an automatic battery charger. Uh, we recommend charging the batteries anytime the unit's not in use. The last option we're going to talk about is the snap pin on the fifth wheel arm. Uh, you want the pin in the engaged position when you're going to hook up the dumpster uh, bar to the actual dumpster brackets. Uh, once you have the bracket uh, hooked up to the waste caddy, then you're going to want to go ahead and pull the lever up and turn it to the right or left uh, on the spring pin. And what that will do is it allow the arm to swing freely from left to right. 